Okay everybody, we have this Indian Point video here, so let's break it down. Are you ready for a good old school rant? We're celebrating the long fought closure of the Indian Point nuclear power plant. Shit, even the cars in the background seem to disagree. Enter Mark Ruffalo, the next best Hulk after Lou Ferrigno, lending his star power to the anti-nuclear movement. Him, Jane Fonda, Alec Baldwin, Leonardo DiCaprio, and other notable actors are showing that they have a severe knowledge gap when nuclear power is concerned. And they like to make a fool of themselves by fighting the best tool we have in the challenge against fossil fuels and their emissions. Indian Point, one of New York's largest nuclear power plants, will begin to shut down in 2020. Indian Point nuclear power plant has been shut down by the activists in this community. Aren't you supposed to say yo with those gestures? I'm sure Coolio would approve. Is the movement closing the power plant or is the utility closing the power plant? Are you sure it's the movement? When we heard that that plant was closing, it was just wonderful. We all celebrated. The world is on fire, so let's celebrate. And we need you to join us in moving to 100% renewable energy. Here are three things you need to know. Number one, Indian Point is very dangerous. You've got to understand how dangerous this thing has become. In one year, they had seven major mishaps. They had pump failures, they had fires, they had radiation leaks. The plant is dangerous. Let's repeat that. The plant is dangerous because of pump failures, fires, radiation leaks, oil leaks, and whatnot. They all fail to tell you what makes the plant so dangerous. What is going to happen if it fails? And how is that going to happen? Nobody can tell you. My family lives two miles from Indian Point, so we are very aware of the dangers of that plant. How come the people working on the plant perceive these dangers differently? Do you have any idea how stringent the safety culture is in Indian Point? It's no picnic working there. They have rules for climbing stairs for crying out loud. Maybe it is incredibly dangerous. Or they are overreacting because you are overreacting. Or are they overreacting because you are overreacting because they are overreacting? I know, it sounds confusing. I'm pretty sure I would love to live within two miles from Indian Point. Why? It's situated in a beautiful area where you can fish and hike and have the occasional visit to New York City. You always have the chance of a catastrophic accident. And it would be catastrophic not just to those of us in two miles. We're in the no escape zone. It would be catastrophic to New York City. Indian Point is less than 40 miles from New York City. You cannot evacuate 19 million people from the 50 mile radius around Indian Point. Number two, this was a long fight. After 20 years of blood, sweat, toil, and tears, we are finally on the verge of eliminating this extremely dangerous facility. I've been working to close Indian Point for 25 years. It's been a long struggle, and I have really learned that it really does take a lot of citizen involvement, lots of different organizations, lots of different people, and we've all worked very hard, and we're all just thrilled. You have just wasted 25 years of your precious life. Closing nuclear power plants is not a good way of stopping air pollution and carbon emissions. Second, I do envy you a little for the mobilizing effort, though it seems as if we, the pro-nuclear movement, are finally catching up. Look at the video with all the star power involved. It barely registers in the YouTube biosphere with only 600 views after a week being online and having 7 likes contrasted to 205 dislikes. And number 3. Indian Point can be replaced with 100% renewable energy. Sure it can, but will it? Besides, what if all the cities and countries were to think this way? Let's first shut down nuclear, shall we? Then replace it with renewables, and if we have some time left, let's see what we can do. Whether we can do away with fossil fuels, isn't that just putting the horse behind the wagon? Since the announcement of the closure agreement, there's been an increase in renewables. What a joke! Renewables have been increasing since the early 2000s, and never really on the decline. This has nothing to do with the announcement of the closure of Indian Point and energy efficiency that is going to completely offset the closure of Indian Point. That's some great A bullshit right there. There's no substitute for energy generation. Besides, we will learn that this is just not true. We don't need Indian Point. Nobody's even going to notice when it goes off. I bet there's thousands of people working at Indian Point and thousands of people working to supply services and stuff to Indian Point. Are you telling me they won't notice its closure? 
Also, check out this page here. It's from the Energy Information Administration, and it tells us that New York has a very, very, very long way to go. Even if you would manage to replace Indian Point with wind and solar, and that would take another five years, how long would it take for New York to become completely 100% renewables? The, the lights won't even flicker. So we're going to go well beyond closing Indian Point, make our carbon goals, and then meanwhile, we'll be held a lot safer. This is a powerful opportunity to get off dangerous nuclear power and fracked gas. New York can lead the way on 100% clean, safe, renewable energy. Thank you, Mr. I am not the real Hulk. New York State is becoming an example for the country. More of that Coolio hand-waving is cool, yo. Just a shame that it is terribly misguided and out of place. So join us as we move beyond Indian Point. To move into a future that's clean and renewable and non-nuclear. Let's get beyond Indian Point. Let's show them how it's done. Well, please don't. Please, 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 please don't. Learn more and join us at beyondindianpoint.com. Seriously, I have a better alternative. Visit the Climate Coalition website and check out what you can do to end this anti-nuclear madness. It's, much, it's a much better idea and deserves our support. We are pro-Indian Point. We think that its workers do an awesome job and the state cannot do without the clean power it provides. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.